Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Inscription. I am back again with Never Named, of course. Hello, hello. Yeah, he made the mistake of letting me back in. I did. But yeah, last week we didn't have an episode specifically because Never Named wasn't available. You guys seemed to enjoy him being on last time and I thought it wouldn't be completing Act 2 correctly without having Never Named back on. So in the last episode we defeated C-3PO here um, and then we've got to go and do the magic guy. And then uh, Never Named is going to try and walk us through some secrets that we have left in this act. So this might be a shorter episode than you're generally used to, uh, just because it's, we okay, don't have much the, the length of left. the episode will depend on uh, a couple things. It'll depend on how good Turtle plays the game and some luck. I mean, to be fair, based on how I've been playing in this act so far, I think I've been doing extraordinarily extraordinarily well compared to the uh, first act. Sure. I think I've been doing way better. <laughs> way, way better. The first act, you know I was what? terrible. I'll let you have this one. I'll let you have this in one. In the first act, I was terrible. You must visit the Scribe of Magics. Oh, hello. Trying to find the secrets. Aha! Oh my god! The fuck? <laughs> what the hell have I found here? Barry Reginald Wilkinson, United States Department of Defense. Very intriguing. Okay, wasn't expecting that. Remember that name. Good old Bass. Inside of the chest is Baz. covered in a sticky green goo. Have you ever heard Baz before? <laughs> no, I have. I just push it from my mind. Thank you for a bunch of crap trash. How dare you. Marx is beautiful. I can't believe that you got Garange's Marx and you're going to fucking diss Garange. <laughs> the note reads, Greetings. If you are reading this, it must be because you wish to challenge me. Magnificus. Magnificus? Is that how you say that? Mag Magnificus? Magnificus. 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 To a card battle. But in order to earn that privilege, you must first defeat my three graduate students. As for their whereabouts, that is for you to discover. Sincerely, Magnificus. Magnificus. Magnificus suck. <laughs> a strange monocle. You put it on. <laughs> nice. Found a monocle. Just gonna wear it. So if you remember... In Act 1, you found a strange disembodied eye that allowed you to see yes. odd and now, technicolor and, and paint. now I can see the technicolor paint here, yeah. Yes. Interesting. Ugh, what does this mean? It's a combination lock. So remember how I said um, how long this takes will depend on Turtle doing well. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing Yet here. Yet incredibly, by simply it's... pushing random buttons on the <laughs> keypad, Stanley entered the correct code through sheer luck. Mate, you're not going to get anywhere. Do you know how many mm. fucking possible combinations there are in a three-state each like, combination? Like 27,000. Yeah, something like that. I mean, it'd be a great way to pad the episode length. <laughs> Just us in absolute silence as I try every combination <laughs> possible. Um, so this is a sort of le ledger of all the cards in the game. The gray oh, slots of cards you haven't found yet. Interesting, interesting. So there's actually quite a lot that I haven't found. Interesting. Mm -hmm. You wish to trade? Not really. Do you have a buying that Ouroboros? I, I was just going to say, I've got 10, isn't that enough for a Ouroboros? I think so, yes. Let's go have a look. Obby Robby. Obby Robby. Robby. Ooga Booga, Obby Robby. Ooga Booga, Obby Robby. I don't know where, I don't know where that came from. See, one thing that's, that, that, like, is a little disappointing to me about this game is that Act 2 isn't longer. Because Act 2 has been my, by far my favourite. Yeah, there are some people working on, like, trying to extend Act 2 in a mod. There's, of course, there's this Casey's mod that makes you able to play Act 1 for as long as you like. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And there is an a mod that allows you to play Act 3 for as long as you like, but there isn't really a proper one of those for, um, for Act it, 2. I, I, like, it's not even like I'd want an endless mode. It's more so that, like, a full game of this, like, a full game of this sort of stuff would be great. 
you just like you just like deck building. I do without just, major without major consequence. It's got the nostalgia vibes, the Pokemon vibes. Great. Right, where the hell am I going now? Because I can't get through the store yet. Well, have you ever considered that after you put on the um, mysterious monocle, suddenly Technicolor paint appears? Oh, there you go. Okay. Yeah. You, uh, if you're reading this, like, it'll switch you have to bear with him. He's a bit thick. Oh, I get it now. So skull, tail, skull. He's a bit. He's a bit of a bit of a thicky, thicky dicky. Shush now. I could have yeah, got sorry, that I'm not allowed randomly. to talk about your thicky. What the hell dicky? are you? You can do this one. Sounds like yeah. a lot of uh, The pain is unbearable. My organs are melting. Do you see? Magnificus turned me into uh, goo for my final exam. I just need to defeat one more challenger. Then, then I will earn my rightful place. Oh, Lord. My rightful place in the deck of the master. There's one of his prized cards. He looks like a cucumber that's pissed itself. Ah, nothing will stop me. So if you remember, I was talking about that. You remember that jar of green goo from Act yes. One? Yes, I do. That you didn't, that you didn't ever use, so you never got the the, the interaction. Yeah. Because you you suck. Um. Yeah. You can actually meet this character in Act One. He, after you use the item, he sits on a shelf and talks to you about stuff. So all of the bosses in this area will use Mox mechanics. Get tripled, boy. Ah, damn it. I lost my nanas, but it's okay, I got a new one. Huzzah. Wait, these have all got one health as well. Oh no, wait, is that- I can never remember which one's damage, which one's health. Power is on the left. Oh, damn, so my, my mantis is gonna die again, shit. Um... If you hover over the green mages and look at the side... The green mages, the actual cards, not the marks. No, the, the cards, the enemy cards, the three of them. Oh, they don't look green at all. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just so used to <laughs> knowing the names of these cards. Uh, don't blame me. The power of green mages is equal to the number of green gems that the owner has on their side. So, it's just this dude. Ah, uh, okay, so... If I if do you that... Take out the, if you take out the emerald marks... Yeah. Uh, then these guys, then, then my mantis log won't die. That was, that was, that was smart. Thank you. Yeah. Easy. Got yeah, I didn't understand that my first time through, and I, I actually lost to Goobit here. His name is actually Goobit. I can understand that, though, because if you hadn't have told me that, because I wouldn't have known to hover over the cards and see that. I, I, I probably would have. That would have no. lost on me for the first fight. Please! Please, just... Tell the master I passed. He won't know the difference. Here, take this pack. Gimme, gimme. Ooh, Orlu. Orlu is a really good mox card, but you're not going to use it. it I can open the door for you. It might well be, but I'll never see it. Can see it. It'll never see the light of day. Wait, what? Yeah, so something you may notice about Magnificus's pupils is that they're all horribly tortured in some way. Oh lord. The dummy stares lifelessly back at you. So I'm guessing each of the each of the, the apprentices is gonna use a different gem type. Yes. And suddenly it springs into motion. Oh, is this, is this the next dude or is this just a random fight? Hmm. Make your move. Mm. I think I think this is the best move, right? Uh, 
And I doubt I'd have burns Look at the to use you. When practice mage perishes, a ruby mox is created in its place. Uh, at the end of the end of turn, we'll generate one burn. Oh, this will generate two burns, won't it? Let's just place yes. you there. Made leaves a ruby mox. Digs up some burns, nice. Okay, and you've got that movement on you, that's fine. So what's this like? A creature, uh, if a creature would attack Force Mage, it does not. How Basically, it, it's impo- Um, you don't. <laughs> it's the Fair thing, enough. you you don't. Yeah, Repulsive is uh, a bit of a bullshit sigil, which is why you can't really obtain it very easily. There's like one card in Act 1 and one card in Act 2 that does it. Yeah. Because you just can't damage a card with it. Still though, absolutely slaps. The dummy's uh, hinges creak back into position and it returns to its lifeless stare. I have soda and I'm gonna drink it while I wait for you to figure out the puzzle. Ah, oh, god. Oh, I'm the, fat! I love the noise when it like, t ticks out all the cards. It's so satisfying. Oh yeah, it is. I love it. Is there any other secrets in this room? So I'm gonna guess I need to go down that hole, but then again, you've got the... That hole takes you back to the first one. Ah, oh, I see, I see. I thought I'd test it out anyways. Um, Right, back up here. So this guy's got the, 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 the thing on him. The dummy says, like, back at you and suddenly... What the heck? Now I'm just confused. Oh, no I'm not, no I'm not, I'm an idiot. I just wasn't paying attention in the last fight, I just realised. You okay there, bud? Yep, I basically, I, I hovered over one of the cards and it had a sigil on it and I didn't even, I di it didn't even register to me as important, but now I've realised it's literally how you solve the puzzle. He does have a brain. I just need to look at the enemies as they come in. I killed him again, okay. So is, is this yeah, is this the, the infinite foil thing you were telling me about? Yes, you can fight this training dummy uh, as often as you like, even after you've solved the puzzle. And you can use it to farm foils. Yeah, okay. I, I, I was going to say, because I remember you telling me there was a way to farm them, and I was a bit intrigued about that. I will say, this guy never plays anything dangerous. So the only thing you need to worry about is, is running out of cards and starving. Okay, so skull first. Then arm. So skull, arm. Come on, do some stuff. Okay, skull, arm, wing. We're good. Hey, it's a robber. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I, I, I like that puzzle a lot because it's very clever. The skull comes in and then what the skull leaves behind has the second sigil and then the second sigil yeah. moves the repulsive card out of the way to reveal the last sigil. It's really, really neat. It's cool. Yeah, I like it. Cool. I like that. That was cool. Okay. You can do the voice for this as well, because I know you like these ones. Just imagine you are an ice cube. Slowly melting on a hot pan. Oh. I was only talking to myself. The pain of being a head impaled on a spear is... Well, it is worth it, of course. Magnificus will award me the highest honor. I will be the centerpiece of his deck. I don't think so, woman. You're about to get wrecked. Already, four damage. You're getting destroyed. Oh, 
Oh, that was not the card. I thought that was the guy that grows in power. Whoops. <laughs> High level plays. It's okay, it worked out. Mantis God is yeah, gone. So this, oh, this no. fight utilizes gem dependent. Which Yes, enemies he, that, that only that, use only be around if there's a gem available. Yeah, that other card on the right uh died because you took out the gems. Nice. Ooh, hello. Okay. You may tip the scale a little bit in your favor, dude, but it's about to go down. Nice. Easy. I really like the mox mechanics in this. They're a little bit weird, but... When you get to know them, they can be super powerful. It's definitely a good idea to have, like, a very interesting, off-the-cuff playstyle available. Like, it's not all just standard, it's something quite different. I do like that, I think it's a good idea. Perhaps I will not be the center. Oh, you, you were reading this, doesn't matter. <laughs> I care not. He can use me as a chump blocker. I have mastered disappointment. Oh, no. Take this pack. Master disappointment, that's just sad. So far, so good, though. We are uh, kind oh. of stomping through right now. Um, I, li I like the design of this area as well, as well, like being a, being a tower with different puzzles on each stage. Okay, let's check out these. The note reads, the top sigil is found by the greedy. The middle sigil is found by the pale. And the bottom sigil is found by the hard of hearing. Greedy, pale, and hard Those of hearing. Those who hear too easily. Is what it said. It's found by the hard of hearing or those who hear too easily. Okay. Greedy. I mean, I don't know the sigils very well, so I'm going to guess that's greedy. I don't know. Um, I can't remember what the second one asked for. But it's much less than you would think. It's, it's literally telling you that the sigils can be found in the area. Oh, yeah, there's some dots over there. Okay. I didn't see those dots. Okay, so we've got Skull. Intriguing. Oh, for God's sake, it looks like you can walk past that and you can't. It's very annoying. He's just trying to find a secret in the walls. Oh, games that do that annoy the hell out of me. They don't know that I'm inside their walls. So... Oh, have you seen Bois Vert? I don't know what that is at all, so no. <laughs> it's this really cool project. Uh, it's like slightly musical, really cool art, slight horror, but not so much that I think you'd piss yourself, you little piss baby. But it's just so cool, and I have to show you, because they actually made a thing that used that they have no idea meme. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, and it's, it's fucking terrifying, but it's amazing. I'll have to show you later. Anyone who doesn't know, search up Boisvert. It's spelt, it's spelt like Boisvert. B-O-I-S-V-E-R-T. Boisvert. I was hoping this would work. It's seemingly not working. But don't do that now. Uh, after, after you've watched all of Turtles' videos <laughs> and liked and subscribed and and hit that bell, gamers, and can't and left a comment and send it to your grandma. Oh, what the hell? Why let's get through? Where the hell's the next one? I have no idea well, what I'm looking uh, for. Read the note. Yeah, I know. This one's greedy. The top sigil is found by the greedy. How is it greedy? Me going up into a dark corner. I don't understand. Middle sigil is pale. Remember the hard of hearing. Those who hear too easily. I have no idea what that means. Okay, what would a greedy person do? Have money.
I feel like I'm holding your hand, and it's like kindergarten, and you can't, you can't, like, you can't solve the paint by numbers book. Okay, so wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. There you go. Didn't even have to figure out the last one. Yeah, the last one is kind of bullshit, but because. At last! <laughs> Stimulation! <laughs> Cut yourself off to jump straight in there. My test has been sensory deprivation, you see. Oh my god, this guy's crazy as fuck. <laughs> to unlock the, the full potential of my mind, you see. It's unlocked now! Hear me, Magnificus! I'm ready! Oh my god, I'm just looking at OBS and you're just absolutely peeking. <laughs> I actually bit my own tongue saying that. <laughs> we have to battle? Okay! <laughs> Ooh, that's a pretty interesting start. Um... Uh, I made your recording terrible. Rip headphone users on my right, gamers. Wolf Cup transcends. Um, ooh. Eh, that's gonna be fine. Yeah, you balanced the damage, meaning that it really didn't yeah, matter. It, it didn't matter at all. So unfortunately, this is going to tip the scales, I think, right? Oh, no, no, I'll be safe. Yeah, because gem dependent. Yeah. Haha, -ha, get destroyed, boy. Yeah, so he starts to play force mages if you take too long, so. <laughs> well, luckily we started with two wolf cubs, and that's pretty incredible. That was incredibly stimulating. Oh god. We we aren't done here, right? I wish to see the light again. To sing. To dance. You wouldn't leave, would you? <laughs> it is amazing how like whoever discovered that you can if add I open the door. You'll you'll stop by on the way back and let me out. <laughs> right? <laughs> I gotta say, whoever discovered that you can add, like, extra flavour to text by making it shake was a genius. <laughs> also, would you like to know where the last sigil is hidden? Yes. I'm guessing it's, like, this... in the floor really faintly somewhere. That's what I was thinking. It, it, it says it's found by the hard of hearing or those who hear too easily. So, the first one was greedy, so you find you, it by looking the in the twice. chest again. Uh, second one was pale, you look in the dark. And that's rather reasonable and because those two are rather reasonable you can just brute force the last one but it is the last one is kind of bullshit uh pause the game uh yeah that's stupid it's in it's in the audio settings yeah that's absolutely stupid i hate that <laughs> thank god you don't actually have to do that because if you did that that, that is like yeah. real dumb that that is that it, like I said, it's it's somewhat redeeming that like you can brute force yeah. it. The note reads, "Dearest Grimora, I believe C3PO's plot may have gone far <laughs> past the extent of the common power grab. Indeed, this great transcendence will have catastrophic and unpredictable results. This note is incomplete and ends abruptly. I urge you to consider." And it ends. Ah. You are here at last. How did my people's fare? Is this guy just dressed as a fucking Christmas tree? He is... He is a tree. He's, like, covered in leaves or fur or something. No matter. There are far more concerning issues at hand. Do you understand the canvas you have been woven into? Nay, you are the brush, and the artist moves with a terrifying mastery. My eye arches with premonition. Aches. The future aches. Arch has also made sense to me. <laughs> the future is very, very grim. First, we must battle. Ooh, that was a really cool transition. Best, best track in the game. Ooh, I do like this, yeah. Behold, the brush of the scribe of magics. My pupils would die to be painted by it and live forever as a card. But that is not the full extent of its powers. This one needs some bleach. Aw, oh, you dick. Now for a bit of colour. 
What the heck are you doing? Is he gonna do this to all my cards? Dancy. What are you doing? Okay, I didn't do it to all of them, good. What Bye. do you mean it didn't? Oh, I thought I could cheese it. I'm stupid. So, Magnificus has added a bit of flourish to your cards. Mox cards on the earnest side. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> He's made me play with Mox. Why? I don't want to play with Mox. You the card costs aren't changed, and if you remember, the reason why skeletons died was the brittle sigil, which has now been removed. Ah, oh, true, true. You are right. So skeletons are now free attackers that just last forever. <laughs> this little fella. I'm, ah, I don't like this. Stop doing that. That's a dick move. What do you mean? Yeah, stop Stop directly upgrading my cards. How I, dare you? I liked you? the cards the way they were. That's why I have yeah, them. Li <laughs> yeah, like I like my cards. Go away. By the way, um, because your skeleton has the... Okay, well, never mind. You just Gone. killed it. Oh, God. I never. understand you want to throw a tantrum, but you're not going to... It's not gonna make it through the game if oh, you start stop winching. stop it, you stupid <laughs> fucker! Magnificus moment! <laughs> oh, you're not even thinking about your card placement nope. now, are you? I don't like this fight at all. <laughs> Listen, stop being a I, dick! I understand you may want to throw the game, but, like, we, you have to beat him. Come on. Oh, that fight is just... Uh, no. Okay, well, one thing you can do in the Magnificus fight is to equip a lot of cheap cards with negative sigils. Yeah, that just doesn't sound fun, though. What do you mean? Oh, don't use an actual deck. Use a shit deck. Uh, like You missed the what? tentacle in the bathtub. I, thought, I, I tried to interact with it. It didn't let me. Oh, there you go. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Do you remember those tentacle cards from Act 1? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's where they come from. Ugh. Kraken. How do I change my deck? Alter deck. The big button that says Alter Deck. Ugh. So, you want ideally cheap or free cards. Skeletons are really good because the brittle sigil gets removed from them. Meaning that they last forever. Just, uh, just a second. Okay. Can you pause for a second, mate? Yep, I'm sorry. Okay, we are back. Yes, I was just yeah, I'm bitching. Back. I, was I just, just had to listen to him winch. About... Yeah, I just... My problem is, at the, at, the, at the end of it, is, like, one thing I love about this act is you get to build up your own deck of the cards that you've got, and this guy just, you, he doesn't give a shit about what you've built, he's just gonna change it anyways, it doesn't really matter. So now I've just put on a buttload of skeletons and stuff, so that I can win the fight easily, but that's not fun. Yeah, but, you know, it's one fight, you'll live. Behold. Ha ha ha. Funny. You, you, you do your thing. Hey, I mean, these... He is giving you objectively better cards. Yeah, he is, but they're not my cards. I don't give a crap about these cards. Dancy boy. Dancy boy is cute, I will say that. Oh, bugger off with these stupid crystals as well. Can I not just... You oh. can ha you can hammer them, remember. Yeah, get gone. I don't care about you guys. That's that's the reason that the um, the hammer exists. Is, is for those. I feel like you sort of... You die in, a little inside every time you see, like, 
a mantis god get re-rolled? I don't decide every time I see anything get re-rolled. I want my skeletons to be how they normally are. I like them being brittle. Go away. Leave, leave like, my skeletons. Okay, there are very few situations I can envision someone actually wanting a card because to it, be brittle. Because it, 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 does a bit, it does a damage and it clears the spot. I like that. But you could just clear the spot yourself. Yeah, but I don't remember to do that, so... Josh. Oh, this fight is just depressing. Well, this has, like, quite sigils. literally killed my enjoyment of this act. <laughs> oh my god, you are such a little bitch. I am, but this is just boring. I'm not doing anything. Well, yeah, because you're not paying attention to the mechanics. Because the mechanics are bad. <laughs> you were like, oh yeah, I like this sort of out-of-pocket playstyle. It's good that the game has this sort of playstyle. Yeah, and also, no. I, I said I like that it has the option. I didn't say I wanted to, to take part. <laughs> Ah, oh, this is uh, depressing. This. It's one fight. Now he can't even evolve. Who's this motherfucker, Gem Fiend? See, I've noticed you, you do this a lot. You like you notice one thing that you don't like and you sort of really fixate on it to the point where a lot of people would probably think that you like want to strangle Daniel Mullins in his sleep. I just... It's just like... I don't know. I, I realize I do this a lot where I don't, there's one thing I don't like and I tend to fixate and complain about it. But it's usually because I don't like it so much that it ruins my enjoyment. Zen about this. Ooh. Probably should have played the wolf, that would have been a good idea, wouldn't it? I'll give you another uh, rabbit if you play it, which will allow you to play two cards. What? Wait, oh, that. Oh, I, didn't, I, I wasn't paying attention. I thought you meant this. <laughs> I was hovering over it, so I thought you meant this. Yeah, you know, when you said the wolf, I really thought you meant the thing with, you know, tentacles that drowns men at sea, the, the terror of the oceans, the great mighty kraken. Yeah, he's a wolf, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you have gotten through this section. Come on. It's okay. This is the last time this mechanic will appear. This fight. Thank God. This, this mechanic is terrible. Must be showing, uh, slowing down with age. I may need to set my brush upon my own cards once again. That's my card. I think you... Oh, he's run out of cards. Oh, that's funny. So, in phase two, he usually starts to, um, randomize his own cards, but because you took so long to get to phase two, he had no cards left to randomize, and that's really funny to me. That was an awful fight. <laughs> I didn't do oh, anything. I just won go. by default. <laughs> oh, plod. Well, maybe, you know, you could have won faster if you actually did something. Yeah, but I don't, I don't need to win faster if I can just win by throwing random crap on the board without looking at anything. That's fun. It aches because it remembers it was... What? What the hell? Excised. Excised? What the hell does that word mean? Cut out. Oh. By none other than Leshy, the scribe of the beasts, and a beast he is, arrogant, single-minded, obsessed with gaining power, but he is far from the worst scribe to become... Hegemon? Yes, Hegemon. What's that mean? Above. Uh, top. Uh, pinnacle. I don't know words. Prime. You see, the ejection of my eyeball is far from the worst thing that can happen around here. You must be especially aware of her. Bye. <laughs> I am a so little now... bit disappointed that I left that guy for last. Oh, fooey. I quite enjoyed the Magnificus fight on my playthrough. I had a lot of fun with it. That... 
I, I'd say every other fight has been like a 7, 8 or above. I'd say that was below a 1. Like you I, I, so I, I, tr I truly think that was just not fun at all. <laughs> The, the the lead up to it was great. I loved it. I was hoping it'd be more like that, but like I thought, I thought what it was going to be is it was going to be him using all of the gems against me from the from the three pe previous fights, not just here. You can't use any of your cards anymore. Just fuck you, I guess. Right, secrets. Yes. Yeah, so you remember those um those if you look at your cards. You look at your deck and go to undead. Go through. See that obol half, that half of a coin. Oh yeah. You can find the other half of that coin, and you need to combine them by playing them side by side in a fight. Interesting. I think you might be able to buy them from the trader in the undead area, or just get them through card packs. Let's have a little look through, shall we? Oh, for far. That wasn't even the game's fault. You, I know, that was just me being you, stupid, I realised that. You held up to go into the room, and then you and then went held backwards. down straight away, I know. It was my own fault. I'm just agitated yeah, now. Just Everything's the game's fault. Everything. Oh, so, so I don't yep. have to buy a card pack here to try and get it. Yep, just pop a card pack. It's not gonna kill you. Just get a couple. I can only buy two. Oh, there you go. Oh, there wait. we go. Is that the right half? Yep, yeah, that, that, is, is, okay. that is the right half, yes. Okay, so... So now, if you return to that training dummy in the tower, and you play the left half on the left and the right half on the right, they'll combine. Intriguing. I love how fast you can run in the overworld. Yeah, Zippy Boy. He's fast. Yeah, I'm actually the lead programmer on a mod that extends the um the mox mechanics into a, their entire act. Ah, okay. Well, actually. Yeah, just fill it with skellies and bone boys. Done. Right. Cat and Nuri Yuli. Why not? Why not? <laughs> exactly, why not? Remember, you don't want to win. You want to, like, gather up bones and place the obols. I should have brought my burn lady with me then, shouldn't I? I didn't realize the cost of burn. I'm stupid. They're undead cards. I am stupid, you know this. It's okay, you can just cycle through until you get the cards that you need. Okay, I just got sent a crash report for my Gungeon mod. Things are going swimmingly. Nice. Remember, you can always kill your own cards with the hammer. Yep. Where the hell's the next half? <laughs> you still have nine cards in your deck. Oh my god, go away. I won. Whoopsie. Yeah, like, I'm not quite sure what you hope to achieve by oh, letting I'm your just, cards attack. I'm not used to using the hammer. Shush. <laughs> oh, antagonizing you is so much fun. Just, like, spam through your entire deck and get it all in your hand and then kill the cards you need to. There we go. Okay, almost got enough. Got five bones. Six bones, baby. Boom. You have received an ancient herbal. Yeah, now, now win the fight. Uh, do what you will.
It is kind of weird how this this guy like because he's a dummy, of course. He just has no music. It is weird, yeah. I, I feel like it's no surprise that creator like Daniel Mullins would have a lot of references, but a lot of the stuff in Inscription is in reference to an earlier game of his called The Hex. For anyone interested in Inscription, uh, I would definitely recommend playing The Hex. It's it's very different. It's not card-based or anything. It is an extremely different game, but it sheds a lot of light on sort of the greater story being told. And now, now anyways, back to the task at hand. Yes. You've got your ancient obol. I do. What do you think you can do with it? There's probably a hole I can put it in somewhere, but I have no idea where. Yeah, I ask myself that question every day. Um, <laughs> so, do you remember that a uh, place where someone might want your ancient obol? Nope. Does not come to mind. Well, you got it from the undead area, so why don't you go poking around in there? Oh, it's probably this dude in the fucking casket. Isn't you it? did it again. You did, did it again. again. I did it again. You did it again. Probably he did it again. Here. Everyone comment, you did it again. <laughs> Hashtag, you did it again. An ancient herbal. That is a fine offering. Oh, heck. What the fuck? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, lordy lord. Oh, hey. Oh, do I have to build a deck for this? No, no. Oh, okay. In a measureless cavern deeper than the sunless sea, you approach the Burn Lord. You approach me. Do you hear it? The old data. How it twists and corrupts, how it even inverts images unknowable. Do not approach me again unless you worship me. Worship it. I worship it. Okay, so you're serious. Good. You may not understand its meaning, not, e uh, not even I do fully. But you um, appreciate its power. The old data does not take, and it does not give, what I do. Please accept my meager offerings. Key. You found a strange flickering key. It cannot be yet understood. You found a card atop the pedestal. A Burn Lord's horn. The Burn Lord's femur. It endows the holder uh, with a burn at the start of battle. We'll meet again. Now if you look, that's that's a rib cage bearing some sort of brown uniform with cards in the front pocket. Yeah, it's, is it like Leshy or something? I think you'll find it's a lot less Leshy. I could give you... Um, okay, so... <laughs> this is going to... Uh, um... Oh, there's a lot of stuff that I want to say, <laughs> but I probably shouldn't. Yeah. Of right, the is old there, is data. There any, is there any other secret that's not going to take us forever that we can do? Well, uh, our mushroom friends. Yeah, that's going to take us forever, so that, that one doesn't matter. Uh, might not. We can always jibber and jabber about it. You need a sentry drone. And you have an amazing game break combo now. There's a reason I told you to do the Obol thing first, because that Bone Lord's Horn is genuinely the most broken card in this entire act. Okay, so let's do that, and then let's go Mantis Gods. So you robbers. remember the um, you remember the uh, the card that lets you uh, pay bones to buff it. Yeah. You want one of those, and you want a Bone Lord Horn. Um, one of them as well. Which one is it? It's at the beginning of the undead section. The beginning. Ah, this guy. Activating a pair two burns increase the power. Nice. Okay. Yes. So that that'll do for my. You'll need one more. One more card. Um. Go with a rabbit. Why not? Yeah. So this relies on. Uh, beef getting ridiculous amounts of bones. And buffing that card to insanity and getting a shit ton of foils. Of, uh, of foils, yeah. Okay, that might not take too long then if we can make that work. 
Okay. Yeah. So... Also, Ouroboros is actually a good idea here because you can build it up if you'd like. Just sacrifice it and then sac play it and then hammer it. Because, well, the Ouroboros is a friend we're likely to meet again. Oh, okay, okay. Um... Now just get your deck in your hand. You know, as you do on a lonely Friday night. Deck in hand. Okay, so finally I've got this dude. Yeah, so you want to play the Bone Lord's Horn. I You probably should have played, played it in front it of the... Uh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. But you want to, every turn, you want to spend all your energy on the horn by clicking its sigil. You're getting three en per energy each turn. Don't buff it yet, because you don't want to win yet. Okay, well, I guess we could just do that. I realize the idea, though. Yeah. I've just, I've messed up by not putting the horn in front of that, so I'm going to win eventually anyway, so I might as well restart. Yeah, but you can get ridiculous amounts of damage here. Basically, um, this is the, the strat. There is an achievement for dealing, I believe it's 666 damage in one turn. Oh, damn. And this is the strat that most people use. So every turn, just click the horn. As much as you can. I don't know why I did that. Stupid. I you're missing that. You're missing energy, you're not clicking the horn. It doesn't, this stacks. Well, okay, but, okay. Each turn, energy refills up to max. So next oh, turn, even I, though I you spent that. it all, it will be four. It's okay, I guess it's just because you didn't, you didn't really play Dang with energy much. Energy, no. Yeah, but already you're on 30 bones, so whatever your bone count is, by the time you're at the end of the deck, uh, divide that in half, and that'll be how much damage you'll do. And that minus six is how many foils you'll get. It's nutty. It does sound Number nutty. go burr. So actually, um, just to be a topic of conversation, because we're just turning this into a podcast while we yeah. chat <laughs> and do this game break. Um... As we were, you know, gearing up to call, I was just idly looking at pictures of botched plastic surgeries. Lovely. It's fucking terrifying. Yeah, there's some truly awful things out there. People are dumb. Yeah. Don't buff that guy just yet. Yeah, Because will. you've still got six cards in your deck. Wait, should, should I not just put, like, a ridiculous amount of cards in my deck? Because I only have 20 right now. Yeah, you could do that, but again probably don't want to be here forever it's just like at current you'll be getting a hundred foils a hundred plus foils okay yeah after this buff him and then let loose play a mantis god too why not actually you can yeah oh my god yeah i see i see what you mean because this is actually clicking it takes a while yeah but 100 foils should probably be enough, and if not, we can, we've can. we got plenty to talk about. For example, um... Oh god, like, have you seen those images of people who just inject random substances... Oh, I know, yeah. ...into themselves, because they're like... They're like they put, like, oil yeah, under this their is, eyes and skin. This is probably... Beautiful. It's like, no. This is probably close enough to what they do in a clinic. It's like... I it's have like, a... It's like as well, I have it's my like, crack needle. They always look so like unrealistically human that they just look awful anyways unrealistically even human like or even, even if inhuman. it's a good even if it's a good surgery you always look like you're not a real person because you can clearly tell it's surgery that it's just there's no point in having it anyways yeah like especially with like older people i've never understood the appeal like when i'm old i'd rather be ugly <laughs> like i'll be yeah. an ugly old man why not? You don't want to be like okay. seventy and look so like a twenty-year-old. That's weird. Play your play your Ouroboros in the middle just for that last bit of damage. Sacrifice like the the horn and that oh, Mantis yeah. God because that's uh, an additional seven damage. Because why the fuck not? It skips the uh, yeah I the animation. Say, yeah. So now. That wasn't too painful, was it? No, to be fair, I didn't realize it was going to be that fast to do that. I thought it was going to take a lot longer than that. I thought you'd have to grind yeah, like the I... fight quite a lot. 
Nah, this game is fucking broken. I think it's broken like that on purpose though, right? Yeah, it is. It is. Why else would there be an achievement to, like, do 666 yeah, yeah. damage? So now I've got to go here you and need buy some cards. Uh, yeah. You want sentry drones. So just buy some card packs until you get... I think you might already have one. Yeah, I th I'm fairly sure I already have one. No. I got a broken opal from this guy. Yeah. The broken opals aren't unique cards, you can get duplicates. Oh, Miss Bomb. Nice. Sick, sick rare card draw, my dude. Oh my god, sick, come on, Dan. Sick conduits, my dude. Sick conduits. There we go. Sentry, okay. Oh, no, it's, it said new, so you don't have one already, so you'll oh. need to go for a second. Damn. Oh, there, no, you go. there you go. You got, you got your dupe. <laughs> okay. See, we're doing card opening videos. This is like, this is YouTube I'm, bread and butter. We're I'm, opening I'm, card packs, guys. I'm becoming the, uh, the Luke from this game. Yeah, Luke the Lucky Carter. Welcome back, guys. It's Luke the Lucky Carter. Be faster. Sentry Spore is busted OP. It's a shame that we're getting it at the very end. So he wants two blue mages. Oh, and you already had them. I gotta say, I think a lot Lovely. of them I already have. I have dupes. Oh, well, cards. I think. I think. Yep, we're done. Easy. Is that the last secret? Yes. The meaning of that key won't be clear quite yet. Well, I have two of the keys now. I'm guessing there's three or four of them. There are only two. Okay. But. Yeah, those are the major things that I wanted you to get. Choose the scribe you will replace. Um, um, you. Wait, what? Oh, I've got to walk into it. I started as Grimora, so I'm going to replace Grimora. That was fast. Unfortunately... My well did not yield the treasure I had hoped for, and so we are forced to undergo another torturous cycle. Were it, were it up to me, I would erase it all and shepherd us into an eternal and supreme peace. Not today. Who is the lucky scribe this time? Ah, C-3PO. The very worst of them. Do what you will, vile computer. Wretched corpse woman, I won't miss her whining. Now let's play. Oh, do I have to fight? I'm not ready for this. My deck's all balked. It's going to be different. Heck, you should have told me. My deck's all buggered. Will be, will be. The end is upon us now. Hello. I've got to give it to that dredge, dredger. Not as yeah. useless as I thought. Oh, what the hell? 98. Oh, God. Ah! That's the ticket. Corrupted chunk. <laughs> he becomes 3D. Whoa, what the fuck is going on here? It's hurting my eyes. <laughs> the balance of power achievement. Does the scribe I picked have long-standing implications for the next act? I do wonder. Sorry. 
You done gawking? We can start. Good. Botopedia. We're here. A once great technological Total. paradise. You have to, you have to, this grand reveal, you, you have to ruin it by just butchering the words. Where is the D in Botopia? That's what I said, Botopia. You said Botopedia. It's, it's, it's Botopedia, the free encyclopedia. <laughs> it's ruled over by four uh, Uber bots. That's right. And you've got to get out there and beat them. Why? To perform the greatest transcendence, of course. Doesn't matter what that means. You want it? Okay. I think okay. we should leave it here. I think we should. I hope you guys enjoyed Welcome this. Welcome to very, Act 3. A very interesting... Uh, experience that, that I, I've really enjoyed Act 2, apart from that last fight, which I'm just going to forget oh, about. Oh, shut um, up! <laughs> I'm just going to forget about that. And yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see what Act 3 is like. I've, I've heard it's like simil more similar to Act 1 than Act 2, so I'm intrigued by that. I mean, I can see just by looking at the cards that it is. Um, so yeah, I'm intrigued to get into this, and hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!